Hello there guys, Fleep here. So today I've got a quick video for you um, showing you the source, um, well at least what it does, um, and showing you a namebot um, and a bunch of other things for COD4. Now um, I'm releasing this source because um, as a lot of you know I'm unable to do the tutorial um, in a couple of weeks so, um, sorry just gonna do that quickly. Yeah, so I'm unable to do the tutorial in a couple of weeks um, because I'm going to uh, go back to uni. So I'm just releasing the source code, uh, which hopefully should be quite good for a lot of you. And um, you guys can hopefully make the most of that. Um, so obviously for those expecting a tutorial, I'm sorry, but I can't do one right now. Anyways, I'm just going to get on with this. So as you can see here, first thing is the, the menu that I use a lot of the time. So I want to start a game and then I can show you all the features. And then uh, you can just download the source code and see this way you can see everything that's happening and what it does etc so just loading the game quickly uh, so uh, this has got a lot of features so f just gonna start the game uh, first thing that you see here on the bottom right to let just the game start so I'm gonna press 4 I'm gonna spawn a bot now I'm playing with bots but this will work exactly the same online um, this hack um, Will be not all features are working on the uh, online hack, but that's because I'm missing one address in memory. Other than that, everything's the same. Uh, but don't worry about that. I'm playing here with bots, but you can implement this in absolutely any game you like. Um, you just need to get your own memory addresses, all right, and just modify a couple of things in code. So first thing you see in the bottom here is my health. So this is actually it's working. So if I go here, damage myself a little bit, as you can see, I lost a bit of health there, 76. And as you can see, COD is going to bring it back up there you go so as you can see I've got it multiple colors you know coming down etc so now let's just press here first thing we're going to go and show is the ESP box now we're showing on one enemy here and anything you see in one you'll see in uh, a lot of guys in a second so here's the ESP box which covers around the enemy as you can see here and it works alright so next thing we're going to go is show the enemy health now as you can see it's right there. It's exactly like mine. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of a problem in the. Well, it's not a problem. It's just not aligned perfectly, but it works very well. So as you can see, I've got the health there. It's got the number on top. It says 100, and um, just it works exactly like mine does. The next thing you see is the ESP name and distance. So as you can see here, he's got the name at the top already, but a lot of the games won't have that. So as you can see, I've added distance as well, which is quite an easy thing to do. So as you can see, I've put it in meters, but you know, it's not an exact thing. Um, but it works quite well so you can see if an enemy is getting quite close to you or not the next one is the snap line I hadn't done one of these before until today um, so I think they're pretty cool and they're very easy to do as well so as you can see here all it does is it makes a line between you and the enemy so you can have a look about you know the trajectory of your bullets maybe if you want to shoot you can be like oh that's perfect and then shoot like that or you just want to see uh, overall they're pretty cool so the next thing is an aimbot, but I can't use that yet because I'm not playing against um, enemies, so as you can see it's not working yet. Now the aimbot, I think I like to think of it as being like a 95% perfect thing. Sometimes it does some weird stuff though, but like 90, 95, 96% of the time it works just fine, so don't worry about that. Alright, so now you've seen um, everything pretty much, I'm just going to uh, spawn an enemy and show you it um, at work. So as you can see, look at all that. So it says his name. So I'm going to put a couple of shots at him, look, his health just gone down, 13, I'm going to kill him, there you go, he's dead. So, as you can see their distance, I'm going to get a bit close to him, got this idiot, look at our enemy, our friendly taking a few shots. Come on, he's killing, isn't he? Oh, there you go, as you can see, but yeah, basically, on the health bar, um, th there are some really cool things, like um, it changes colour, like it's got like seven or eight different colours, which I think is really cool. Alright, so now you can see the aimbot in action. So I'm going to spawn a couple more to do some. So if I hold down mouse 2, you can see the aimbot in action. Now, pretty much all of the code is comes up. Oh, there he is. Comes up from uh, the ESP. Once you've got the ESP done, everything else that you see on this list is very easy to do, including the aimbot, etc. Oops, got a mouse down. Everything else is very easy to do. So I'm going to spawn a couple more enemies. And once again, this will work online just fine, guys. The method is the same. So as you can see, all the enemies have their own thingies. Uh, I haven't done bullet trace, so uh, as you can see, shooting through walls. Um, well, it doesn't detect if they're through a wall or not. So this is a pretty cool thing. So here I am. 
what it does the aimbot is um, it looks at the closest enemy you've got and um, I'm gonna hide here for a second yeah it looks at the closest enemy that you've got and um, ah, this is no good this weapon you need an assault rifle oh, oh I'm dead <laughs> but yeah pretty much um, you can just come here turn things off and on as you can see it works just fine um, but obviously you guys play around that this is just a normal enemy uh, menu you can use your own um, as you can see look at this bam so you can definitely tell the aimbot's working now obviously you can change this to any um, thing you want in the game that bloody wall's in the way but yeah you can change this to anything you want in the game um, and I decided to release this because I thought you know what's the thing where I can put the most features possible in you know and give you guys a lot of stuff to work with um, and this is pretty much what I came up with so you know you've got everything you want for a decent hack here and you can do whatever you like with it so it's in C++ and it's in the DirectX hook now this hook will most likely not work in new games so if you want to do things well it will work in new games it just won't uh, bypass anti-cheat systems so you need to um, create your own anti-cheat um, sorry your own hook or download a working one but all the code here is very easy to use. I've commented as much as I could. Um, I tried to make it as simple as possible, so it's not too difficult. Um, and what else? So, look at this. You see that? Just taking people out like it's Christmas. Um, so yeah. Uh, what else? So this would definitely work for any game. So. Um, as long as you can get the memory addresses and all that good stuff I can't help you with that though um, you'll maybe check some of my tutorials out or get some more experience with Cheat Engine or Ollie Debug I've got a couple tutorials on those if you want to have a look uh, but yeah I'm not going to go too much off topic um, I'm actually going to release another another one of these um, hopefully with the exact same features I, th I think it will be exactly the same features uh, using GDI and if you guys know GDI is something that works it's it draws on screen it does have a couple of disadvantages but you won't need a DirectX hook and you do hacking basically externally which means you won't get banned on games like um, at least that I've tested on Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2 or those Call of Duty's and a couple of other games so I'll be hopefully releasing that tomorrow I'm going to mess around with that tonight um, and that is going to be exactly like this one but not with a hook it's going to be external and uh, it's going to be very good hopefully uh, very small disadvantages to that but very evasive methods so hopefully you guys can enjoy that and hide the menu excuse me so uh, a couple of things i got to mention quickly uh, credits to Naka Naka is um, this guy that released uh, some decent code for um, well he released a COD4 aimbot um, an e well, ESP ages ago not aimbot um, so he did that and that was really good of him um, and I used like two of his functions which are really difficult maths functions which I had a lot of trouble with before so I used two of those um, and um, who else I used like one or two functions from my known cheats but I don't know who made them so it's just graphics drawing functions it wasn't it wasn't anything too difficult uh, but the DirectX just isn't my thing I don't really care for it I'm just more interested in the C++ thing than anything else um, and yeah so um, yeah so if you use any of this code um, for your own hacks, I'd appreciate um, you know if you put my cre uh, my name somewhere around there. Just give me some quick credit. I don't really care. Um, but I, you know, it, it, this took me a little bit of time to do, and I really appreciate if you could do that. Um, and if you're interested in releasing hacks publicly, um, you can do it on my site, which is guidedhacking.com. I've got forums there, which a lot of people are in. Um, and that's I think pretty much it so um, yeah I'd really appreciate any of that so if you could a lot of people there you know we've got quite a good community with decent people there I'm sure a lot of them would appreciate you releasing uh, if you were to release your hacks see look at that guy 2 health he's done um, but yeah it's fully up to you of course do whatever you want the source code um, that's why I'm releasing it because um, I know a lot of you guys will probably make good use of it um, let me know um, if you do release a hack and you want to, you want me to have a look at it. I'll happily do it. I'll try it out. Um, I usually find these things quite fun. I like to know what people do with these things and whatnot. And um, I, I think it's great to know that some of you guys are using my code. I really, I really enjoy that. Um, so, anyways, I'm going off topic big time, and I'm probably wasting a ton of time in this video. So, feel free to download the source in the bottom. And um, yeah, I hope that goes well for you, and uh, you can hopefully make your own hacks from this. So. I uh, hope you enjoyed this quick video, um, hopefully I'll release another one tomorrow, if things go well I'll be able to have the other version of this hack, um, which will be much better, especially for you um, 
for you guys that can't run this hook uh, I'm sure you will enjoy this um, anyways I'm off for now guys I'll see you later uh, thanks a lot for watching and uh, the source is in the description bye